Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video though, we are going to be dyeing a super cheap wig with some overtone coloring conditioner. This was inherited. Um, someone gave this to me. They purchased it, used it, and did not care for it. Um, it is in the color Espresso Brown. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, I am a natural pink, purple, green, blue. <laughs> um, I do not dye my hair brown, so this has just been kind of sitting on my shelf waiting for the perfect moment to be used. So we are going to try to use it on this. Ah! This wig right here, which I got, um, I had originally got it for one purpose, it was not used for that purpose, so now I'm going to be trying to dye it. I did use it in a picture, and I don't hate it. I call this color, like, strawberry brown. Um, it's like a light golden brown with, like, it doesn't look like it has any red in it, but, like, I don't know, this to me is just strawberry brown and it's deep rooted. Um, it was $13 <laughs> um, and it is Kiss and Go uh, Beauty and Wigs. So it is in the style Baby Coco, it has a little bang. And then this is the color TT slash 27 if you are looking this wig up online. And it says curling iron safe up to 350 degrees. Um, this is a synthetic wig. Again, it was $13. It is not necessarily like the best of the best, but it gets the job done. It's actually super duper soft. I have a, a few of these other kiss and go wigs and I got them in blonde and they were not as soft as this. What I'm going to try and do is use the overtone on this wig to see if I can get it a little deeper uh, because I think that this particular tawny color on my skin tone is not necessarily like the best of the best. Now I understand that most people probably won't be investing in overtone for a $13 wig. I get that. Overtone is a little bit on the um, pricier side. It's an investment, but if you keep your hair one color forever and always, I think it's actually a decent investment. I've never used overtone before, so I am interested to see how it will do on a synthetic wig such as this one. Um, yeah. If you have a wig that's like real hair, I have all the confidence in the world that overtone would do wonders on it, um, but I'm just interested to see what it might do on a synthetic wig. It might work, it might not work. Um, we are just experimenting here. I'm just trying to get this a little bit darker than what it is currently. So this is the picture that I have worn before. So we're going to try and see if I can get a little darker. So let me get gloved up and let me get this on a wig stand and let's get started. Okay, so I did put a little cape on myself or robe on myself because I don't want any of the dye to get on my shirt. Um, it does, overtone kind of boasts that it doesn't stain your hands or anything, but it does come with gloves. So I am going to put the gloves on just to make sure I've never used overtone, so rather be safe than sorry. And in my experience with other brands, depositing conditioners have a staining quality to them. So, uh, the directions, let me tell you a little bit about it as I am putting it on the wig. It says, directions, using gloves, apply evenly to dry hair, wait 10 to 15 minutes and rinse clean. Want fade-free color? Use weekly to refresh. Overtone products are non-damaging and contain no lightening agents. Results may vary depending on many factors, including starting hair color. It's vegan and cruelty-free, free of sulfates and parabens, ammonia, suitable for all hair types. So all I'm going to do is actually work from the top down. Usually if I were working on an actual person or myself, I'd probably work from the bottom up, um, but it might just be easier for me to work directly from the top 
all the way down. And all I'm going to do is take little sections of the hair and take uh, big chunks of the conditioner in my hand, smooth it over and comb it through to make sure that everything is saturated wholly. Also, I did put a oversized shower cap on my wig before I started. Um, I accidentally bought the wrong size, wink womp. Um, but it ended up working out great because it now fits over my wig head form thing. I've never used overtone before, but maybe could someone tell me in the comments section, do all the colors smell like this? Because I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this scent. It's like menthol -y, but worse. I don't really know how to explain it. As I'm dyeing it or was dyeing it, um, a couple things. I am not a big fan of the scent of this overtone. Um, it's like got this menthol-y scent, but it's actually like not refreshing. I don't know. It has a very peculiar scent to me and I don't like that. I don't know if that's every color or if it's just like the espresso color, but I'm not a big fan of it. Um, also, it took a lot to cover this wig in particular. So if you have long hair or dense hair or, you know, you're trying to cover up like a lot, a lot of grays or white hair or a different color, you're trying to deepen your hair, if you have a lot of it or you're going to need a lot, you might want to invest in two jars of this. Um, this is eight fluid ounces, um, this jar, and it took me the whole, almost the whole jar to do this whole wig, which is like a short medium wig and it is not very dense at all. Um, so if you are going to be using this on your actual hair, then you're going to need to buy a couple different tubs of overtone. Um, also, it's very, very messy. I know, I mean, obviously I'm doing this on a wig, but like if you're doing it on yourself, you might want to consider doing it in the shower because it's pretty messy. Make sure you're wearing a cape and or have a friend help you um, because it honestly, it got, I'm glad I wore this because it got like all over me. Yeah, so what it says now to do is sit for 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll probably let it sit anywhere from like 15 to 20 since this is a wig. The fibers looked like they were really soaking up the color, like they were really open to receiving the brown for being a synthetic wig. So I am very hopeful that this overtone will actually deepen the color. Um, time will tell. I didn't concentrate a lot on the roots, although I wish I would have because the roots originally were a little bit like green based black, which is gross. Um, but we'll see how it turns out. In 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to shampoo this out and then we'll have to air dry it and then we'll see how it actually turned out. But I'll show it to you after I shampoo it because it's going to take a while to air dry this. Um, you're not supposed to like dry it with a hair dryer or anything like that since it is a delicate synthetic wig. Um, so yeah, 15 to 20 minutes, I'll shampoo it out, I'll show you what it looks like shampooed out, and then we will dry and style it and see where we go from there. <laughs> okay guys, so here it is, washed. Um, it didn't necessarily take all that well. Um, it looks like it deepened the roots a little bit more and it also took out some more of that like strawberryness or like lighter color in the back. Um, it looks pretty much the same as before I did it. If I'm being honest, um, it doesn't look all that different. The bangs and maybe I just didn't rinse those out all that well or maybe they were just more open to receiving it. The bangs look the most colored out of everything. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm not going to say that the uh, overtone on a synthetic wig is a bust, but I'm not going to say that it works either. This is still really, really wet because it's super fresh, um, like freshly rinsed out. Um, I'm going to go let this dry and then we will see how it is all dried and stuff and compare it to how it was beforehand. Okay, 
So here is the final result from the overtone over an inexpensive synthetic wig. Um, this is what it originally looked like and now this is what I have currently. Um, it did deepen it. So it actually made the roots a little bit darker. It definitely deepened the bangs and it deepened the like overall color as well. So it's not so much like strawberry brown anymore. It is like a true like honey light brown. Um, I thought it would make it quite a bit darker, uh, but I think that's just the fact of the matter that overtone is meant for like real hair <laughs> um, rather than synthetic hair, of course. Uh, I thought that it would have a little bit more of like a stain to it rather than like just it being conditioner. Um, I will say though that overtone did stain my hands a little bit where it got through the gloves and things like that. I'm not disappointed with how it turned out. It definitely deepened it and gave it a much more rich brown color. Um, I think with the color espresso, I was thinking that it would be like espresso, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm not disappointed by it. Would I recommend it? No. The only reason why I tried this experiment with the overtone over the synthetic wig was because it was sitting on my shelf. Someone had given it to me and I would never use espresso on my actual hair <laughs> um, because I'm a natural purple head. Um, anyways, so I was just experimenting to see if it would work, how it would work, what it would do to the synthetic wig. Would it all wash out? Most of it did wash out. Um, most of it definitely did wash out. A lot of it, some of it took the green away from the roots, which was great. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not disappointed with how it went. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, especially since overtone is kind of pricey. But yeah, I, I think I like this tone a little bit better than what it was before. It's slightly different. I know that people are probably looking at me crazy like Kirby. That is no different than what you started with. And it, it isn't, but it is. Like I can notice a very, very slight difference. Just a slight difference. And maybe it's all in my head. Who knows? I don't know. I think I notice like a huge difference, but that's just me. Maybe I'm going crazy. Anyways, you let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I will list all of the products that I use, so if you're interested in them, you can check them out on your own time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.